Salzburg GPS system has been very useful for us since we introduced it with regard to determining training loads leading into matches. So we typically would have two games over a short period of time. There'll be a, a four to five day training lead into the first game and we need to identify how much players should do prior to that first game and then what they should do when they're recovering from that first game leading into the second game. So it's enabled us to decide training session details and then we can progressively change those sessions leading into the first game. Yeah, I mean, I like some of the features. The, um, the live streaming of it is, is good, so we can obviously see what players are doing during a training session. Um, it's enabled us then to look at what individual players have done. Some players are coming in having done more than others in the lead into the camp, so they need, those training sessions need to be adjusted accordingly. Um, there are players who are coming back from injury, but they're still available to train and play. We need to monitor their training loads based on what they've done in the week or 10 days leading into the camps. Typically we look at uh, four key performance indicators, so high metabolic load, distance, meters per minute, total distance, and high speed running meters. Um, we find that those ones give us all the information we really need in order to adjust training sessions. We will um, put the reports up um, in a general room for the players to look at, so players will have an understanding of it generally from their own clubs so they can then equate what we're doing in training sessions here to what they would normally do. Some players will look at it in a bit more detail than others but generally I think the players are educated as to what the key performance indicators are and they then can look to see how they're performing relative to their teammates and also relative to what they would normally do during the training week. The Stats Sports Exchange has been useful with regard to receiving information from clubs prior to meeting up so we get an idea of how much players have done in the lead up to our camps. Um, as I said earlier, some players would have played more and trained more, some players are coming back from injury so the training load has to be adapted. So we'll be able to see that based on what the, the clubs will send us. And then on top of that we will send that information, the information that we've accumulated over the course of the 10, 12 days they're with us back to their clubs so that a relationship is built between the sports science conditioning staff, the clubs and ourselves. The readiness to train app, we, players will fill in their scores every morning based on how they're feeling, how well they slept, whether they're, they're feeling much soreness, what their energy levels are like. So we have, again, key markers that we're looking for there and we're looking for trends so we're looking to see is there a change in a player's soreness level, is there a change in the player's energy levels and then obviously we can communicate with the player, sometimes players will maybe need to speak to the doctor, sometimes players need their training session loads need to be adjusted based on how they're feeling so it's really a preventative strategy making sure that we're not missing anything subjective that a player may be able to give us. I would say the technology that's available now is necessary, um, probably an essential component of all training sessions. Um, if you look at what the players are used to at their clubs, at all premiership clubs, and even the lower divisions now in English football, they'd be using this technology heavily. There's an expectation from the staff at clubs and from the players that when they go on international duty, this is available to them. And from our perspective, it allows us to make decisions with regard to training loads that can prevent injury hopefully and also prepare players to perform at their best on match day. So I think ultimately without this, the use of this technology we can't be as accurate as we'd like to be with regard to training sessions prescription.